Hey there, welcome to my channel, I'm Guten Chad, I play a lot of Marvel Snap, I stream on Twitch, you can find me on the links below. So today we're talking about how to Galactus. First of all, let's ask why Galactus. Galactus is a unique card in the game. Um, some would say he breaks the game, some would say... Um, they hate Galactus, and I understand them. Um, basically, the card is very unique, and right now, specifically in this meta, and with the addition of Mobius and Eliath, the purple cloud, Galactus is a very, very strong archetype. Um, me, myself, I've reached rank 400, and the season is not over yet and I would like to explain how I play Galactus and why I play Galactus what's the strengths what's the weaknesses um, and that's about it for the introduction now let's move on to talking about Galactus himself Galactus used to be uh, different Galactus used to trigger without this sentence if you are winning this location and also had much lower power this basically means that Galactus right now is different and should be played a bit differently what do I mean a bit differently if you look at the um, stat of 7 power it's not bad it's not good for a 6 drop, right? But it's overall not bad for a card in general. Which, in conclusion, means we want to play Galactus before turn 6. For that, we do use Ramp, either Wave or Electro, or taking advantage of Ramp locations like Titan or Elysium. But overall, we want to play Galactus before turn 6. Now Galactus is not the only uh, win condition in this deck. We still have Professor X to lock one of the locations. We still have Orca, which is a again a very strong card to play before turn 6. It's basically 16 power on turn 5, on turn 4. Uh, and we have Eliath which is a good finisher depending on if you have priority or not but overall a very good finisher right now this card might be nerfed in the future but right now it's not so we're gonna act like we don't know what's gonna happen in the future okay so basically because modern galactus is different um we need to look at it a bit differently uh, which means the 7 power means Shang-Chi um, cannot destroy Galactus, which is very good. Um, what we need to continue after that is looking at how this synergizes now with other things. And because Galactus has this advantage of 7 power that he didn't have earlier, but has this disadvantage that you have to be winning this location. This means that cards like Hobgoblin on the location that you are planning to play Galactus on are very good. This also means that um, a lot of situations in the last turns of the game, turn 5, turn 6, become a very um, tight spot. Um, since you most of the time when you trigger Galactus will have priority. Okay, so that's very good for Eliath, let's say. But it can be a very big problem for, let's say, cards like Dinosaur. Because if there is more Rogue in the meta, for example, Rogue can steal the ongoing effect from Dinosaur and win the game. Shang-Chi can kill Dinosaur. Uh, it really depends on the meta and the tech cards that are played in the meta right now. Okay. So, 
in the current meta, in our meta, there are two major cards that are very very strong and very very and affecting the the meta in a very strong way one of them is mobius with this ongoing ability you can basically do a very very strong curve of playing mobius on two wave on three which basically means you get all of your high cost cards in hand for four while your opponent doesn't um and also your opponent still has to play only one card because most of the time because their cheap cards will also become a four cost for that turn so that's a very very strong <coughs> sorry very strong curve mobius wave it helps you and it hurts your opponent um and then you can galactus on turn four they still can stop your galactus with stuff like cosmo they still can stop your Galactus with a very lucky Iron Land, for example. But overall, it is a very, very strong play. And very hard to stop the trigger of four Galactus. Another very strong card in the meta right now is Eliath. And with an effect of destroying all enemy cards played here this turn, including unrevealed cards, us as Galactus players having priority means this is a guaranteed win basically if we are in on turn six there's only one location left and it is our priority we basically have a guaranteed win when we play a lyoth there's no no exception except the situations where let's say um the location is wakanda so a lyoth can't kill uh cards maybe it's a location with armor so again same thing maybe there's cosmo but overall in general in most games you'll play Eliath is just a checkmate card very very strong card right now been played in many many decks not only galactus okay um so this current deck is based on what i played before Mobius, before the release of Mobius. Uh, with one major change, I have took out, I've taken out Nebula. And don't get me wrong, Nebula is a very, very good card. Okay. Where is Nebula? Yes. Nebula is a very, very good card. It fits this deck very well because it's a scaling card and because you can uh, play Professor X on that location and it's easier to win with a card like Nebula. But the reason that I don't run Nebula right now, and I do run uh, Mobius instead, is when you play Galactus, you need options. You need to have options to play Galactus in one of the three locations in the game. If you have Nebula in your opening hand, like in turn one, what ends up happening with Nebula is that you're basically debating yourself to play a card and to basically cancel out one of the locations for Galactus. So you either play Nebula on the first location that has been revealed already, or you have to gamble and play Nebula on the third or the second location that has not been revealed, and that can turn out pretty bad. And not only it can turn out pretty bad, it can also turn out pretty good, but Overall, it means that you're blocking one of your locations for a potential Galactus on a turn that you haven't seen even two locations revealed. So it kind of hurts the concept of trying to trigger Galactus. That's why I took out Nebula for Mobius right now. I might change it in the future, but right now I think it is the right decision. Especially now when you can actually trigger Galactus. Compared to, compared to the past, that was a bit harder or much harder. Okay. Uh, about locations. So, in this game, there are multiple locations that you want to um, play Galactus on. Some of my favorite locations are the negative locations. The locations that 
give cards minus 3, minus 2, minus 1. These are very good locations for Galactus because as you play Galactus as the only card in that location, you're playing against multiple cards but they are decreased by power. Those locations, those negative locations are also good for Hobgoblin. They give Hobgoblin extra value as being a minus 8 card. Um, you want to play Galactus on... Um, sometimes you want to play Galactus on Throne because it doubles Galactus immediately. There are small niches that you need to realize. Um, locations that say... That have the text after you play happen after Galactus tries to trigger. What does that mean? For example, Ant Maze that gives you plus three and moves the card. That happens after Galactus on reveal effect. And because Galactus on reveal starts with the word if, okay, it starts with if, this basically means that. Um, you need to be winning a location like that with just the base power of 7. Compared to other locations that you can actually win um, with the added power of the location, like I said, like Throne Room, that doubles the highest uh, power card in this location. So that immediately works on Galactus before he does his own reveal. Um... Locations like Nidalveer that adds plus 5 to your, to your power, but usually Nidalveer would be full of cards before you can play Galactus, so don't, don't count on that. We basically want to avoid locations that we expect the opponent to play in. So that's White Hot Room, The Raft, um, Moir Island, stuff that... The opponent will see and will want to stack things there to get an advantage first. We want to avoid trying to play Galactus in there because there's a high chance that it won't work. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, it, it, there are a lot of things to know when you're playing Galactus. A lot of things. Because you really want to understand how ramp works, how... Uh, Galactus itself works, how the interaction with every location works. There's a lot of game knowledge to have to play this game uh, and this deck efficiently. But overall, overall, um, you want a location that does not have, let's say, you can't play Galactus on nowhere, that's obvious, right? Um, you can't play Galactus against a location that is already stacked against you. For example, a very, a very good example is Quantum Realm. The chance that you can trigger Galactus on Quantum Realm is very low. Um, okay. Now let's talk a bit about snapping with this deck. So this deck wants you to snap in a few major situations. The first one is having a very, very good hand and proking your ramp. What do I mean proking my ramp? I mean the electro on reveal going off on turn three. I mean the wave going off on turn three. I mean, that's what I mean. Uh, if you play Mobius and wave one after the other, you can seriously snap on that, if you have priority even more. Um, another thing that's very popular with this deck, and everyone does it and you will see it in games, is when you see what your opponent is doing on turn 5 with Daredevil, and you can make a counterplay, a very strong counterplay, that's when you snap. It is quite a late snap, but it's still a good snap. Um... When you see that you're going to win and Alioth will close the game for you, it's a snap. Uh, many, many, many situations are good snaps for this deck. Um, on the other hand, there are very bad situations for Galactus specifically. One of them is Central Park, the known enemy of Galactus. 
getting squirrels in every location is pretty bad. Um, more bad locations for Galactus are Sinister London, because basically it fills the board pretty fast for you and for your opponent, so it's better to just play very strong cards like Dino, like Orca, um, like Hobgoblin into Sinister London instead of trying to pro Galactus in those games. It is still possible, but it's much harder. Um, that's when to snap. Overall, as you can see from my experience of playing a lot of Galactus, it's a good deck. It's a very good deck. It does require some time to learn, and it's not the easiest deck in the world, and locations are very limiting sometimes, but very rewarding sometimes. Uh, you can get Project Pegasus, for example, and just slam Galactus on turn 1 and win. And a lot of people will just retreat after seeing your Galactus animation. Um, but I do think that right now with the meta, with everything, this is the deck to go for when you want to climb. Especially, especially uh, when you are playing... Um, when you're learning. Yeah, that's the right word. When you're learning the game still, I think this deck really helps you understand what's going on in the game. You have to play according to locations with this deck. With this deck. One example is that I've learned a few days ago. If you play Professor X on Clintar, instead of staying locked, Clintar still makes this a symbiote which was very weird but it's true so it teaches you a lot about locations and it's very good to um to understand the game through this deck it's a very unique deck very unique gameplay helps you understand what's going on in the game okay and now let's move on to some games and give examples of how to play Galactus. Okay, after this game we'll take a oh fuck. Breaking news. I don't wanna give him my cards. That's so bad. You're breathing right now? I don't think I am. So they run crystal. But they're not lucky. Save us, Mobius! Save us! Why are you giving me cards, bro? <laughs> so many cards! Nice Mobius. Nice try with the Valkyrie. Nice, nice, nice. Victory. Yes, okay, I'm back. Ah. 
Let's sit straight. Interesting. Angela. Do we wave here? Maybe we wave here. Legion? Jubilee? What are they trying to do? I am Iron Man. What? I don't know what they're doing, but... I'll take it. You know? There's some magic that I am not thinking about, and with that magic they can uh, get out of this. What is this shenanigans? Okay. Victory. Okay, we got our boy Mobius and our boy Daredevil. We need to decide which one we play. If we get wave, I guess we play Mobius. No Moive, so no Mobius. Okay. Saber Tooth. Is that a destroy deck? I have priority. Do I snap? I don't think I snap. The problem is if I play Galactus, I play into the Pepega... How do I win this? Galactus gives them free Null and I don't have Eliath. Doesn't barely fill for them here? Oh, it does, you're right. You're right. 
The question is, what does it give them? Does it matter? They are all small cards. They get back Bucky Bond, right? Do they get Bucky or not? That's the question. They get Bucky, but they don't get Sabretooth! Fuck! So they get the Bucky, they don't get the Sabretooth. We're kind of fucked. Yo, bad? Yes. We're going for it, so... 